Hello, everyone, and welcome back into another episode of The Three View. Today, we are joined by Mason City Head Coach Mark Hicks. How's it going today? Hey, it's going well. How about yourself? Doing good. We're getting closer to the season, so just really trying to – it's crunch time. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> so we'll kind of dive into your background. So you've been within the Mason City organization for 12 years now. Talk about how the league has evolved over that time and you know what you think the strengths are of the NA3. I think what's really involved is more than what we talk about the uh, ladder of, of development. I think that's evolved more over time. I think uh, more and more of the NA teams are, are looking towards uh, some of the players in our league. So I feel like we've done a good job of, of promoting, especially in our team and in our division, promoting that the NA3 is a good step to get to the NA. So mm -hmm. I think that's uh, what I've seen in the past. There's just a lot of good hockey players out there now in the United States. So, uh, just the NA3 has just gotten better uh, in the fact that there's just a lot of good hockey players out there. And, you know, there, we used to be mostly Midwest here in, in the West uh, Division, but, you know, we're getting kids from all over the country that want to come here too. So I think it's just been promoted well. I think our league does a great job with showcases uh, and different things like that. So it's just only been successful because, you know, and I think we also have uh, attracted a lot of good coaches and that's helped uh, bring in some good players as well too. Yeah, absolutely. And being in the organization for so long, what about the culture has drawn you into staying? Well, I, I moved here. This is my 30th year coach in Mason City. So I came here with the uh, North Iowa Huskies back in 1995. And then we, and then I got married and had kids. And so I just stayed here coaching youth hockey. But then we've always had a we had the outlaws here with the North American League. Mm -hmm. And so I, I helped out uh, Dave Boyd's and, and, and Jeff Krause and those guys when they coached here. Uh, so basically it's because I got married and, uh, and, and helped raise a family here. And so that's why I stayed here. And then the opportunity is just falling on, on my doorstep to be able to coach junior hockey here as well. So, but with the culture, you know, coach Sandin, uh, when he came here his first year with the bulls, when we were in the bulls with the NA3 team, he's just created a great culture that, and it's always been a good hockey town. And so I've just tried to model what he's done and, uh, but, you know, I, I enjoy coaching. I, this is a, kind of my wheelhouse here is the junior hockey. And so mm -hmm. I've really been blessed that it's just been available for me to coach here in Mason City. Uh, the culture we have here is between the two teams has been great. So that's also uh, uh, been a positive that wants me to be uh, involved as well. Yeah. And talking about the two teams, talk about the experience uh, that your players have that not every player in the NA3 might have being that the um, North Iowa Bulls play in the same building as you guys and you guys are under the same ownership as well. Yeah, we uh, we've done a great job here since we've had both teams of making sure that uh, that we work together. You know, last year, I think we we had between the year before and the, and last year's team, 10 guys that dressed for the NA team last year. One of them also dressed mm -hmm. for Austin as well. And so with that, um, we practice together uh, defensemen once a week and, and forwards once a week. So okay. our guys and the NA guys are on the ice together for skills. Our goalies uh, have one day a week of practice together. And, you know, we, we just kind of do everything together. Uh, we sit down together together. Uh, and, and talk about each other's teams. We uh, do film together. Uh, and also uh, Coach Bruto will come up for practice with me sometimes or I'll, I'll go out with him. So we, we try to just do everything together. And I think the players notice that. We also have some of the kids that are Bulls and Toros that, that live together. And we have 50 billet beds, which is a lot for a little town. But, um, you know, not it's not just separated between the two teams. We we want to make sure everything is, is done together. And, and that's – provide an opportunity for the guys to move up to. I think last year uh, we went on the road a couple of different games with the Toros where Nick needed some players and they go. And then there's those questions asked. My, my job here is to help develop players, but my job here also is to provide Nick and his, his staff with the best opportunity to win as well. So if that need, means he needs a player or two anytime, they go up and the players know that when they come in here. And I think that provides a unique opportunity uh, for them that they know that they're in the building with the NA and they're going to get on the ice with them at least once or twice a week. And maybe if they maybe get a game or two as well. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like every time 
not every time, but a lot of the times when I'm looking at the commitments for the Bulls, a lot of them have ties back to Mason City. So like you just said, it's awesome to see that you guys are promoting within your organization and, you know, helping these players move on to their ultimate goals. So, you know, yeah. definitely A plus for you guys. <laughs> uh, oh, it's, and, you it's going great. We've enjoyed, we've, it's, it's working well. And, and you know, I'm the old guy in the group and these guys are all, you know, 20s and 30s. So it's, it's been a good <laughs> balance of the old, old school and kind of new school too as well. So it's been a lot of fun for me. Yeah, absolutely. And then as we head into your second season as head coach, kind of reflect on, you know, last season as your first as that coach. I thought we had a great season last year. Uh, probably didn't win as many games as we wanted to, uh, but we play in such tough division that if, if you don't show up on a, any given night or any given period, you're, you're going to get beat. And so, uh, but I thought the season was great, but we did a great job of, uh, promoting guys not only to the NA uh, last year and this year, but we did a great job of uh, sending uh, guys off to college. We've got a lot of guys that got D3 commitments this year, uh, a couple of them in some big schools, like Miles Burgess in Wisconsin, Eau Claire. I think that's the first person in our league that's gone there as a player, so it's just mm -hmm. such a huge thing. Uh, and I think uh, – we did a good job developing some of the kids that are going to come back uh, this year as well. But I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of the fact that, that our guys are moving up the ladder. Um, I want to win a championship. We've won championships here before, and I guess that's our ultimate goal. But, you know, I get just as excited about when the kids um, move on to the next level, even if they get to practice with the NA team. But, you know, going off to college is important. All these kids have got to uh, – most of the kids that play in the NA3 uh, are going to be professionals and some other – area besides hockey so we're trying mm -hmm. to get them to get, to the, get them to get to the school of their choice and also enjoy hockey for another four years as well so to me it was a great year uh, i think uh we took granite city to three games last year we were a minute away from going into overtime and they ended up playing in the last game of the year and i think if you talk to the other coach in our division that it, it can go eat any uh any direction any night and they all know that so uh but last year was great i thought and just being the head coach again was exciting for me i been yeah. an associate or assistant coach for a, for a lot of years, which I love. I think I, I, it's where I probably do some of my best work, but just having that head coaching job again was, was fun, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, you did have a good handful of players moving on. You had 12 players from this last year's team moving on, whether it was to college or between NA tenders or the NA draft. You know, talk about how you guys are able to help these players move on and also talk about the gaps that you now have to fill moving on so many players. Well, moving on, I think the way we've always been around here, and, I, and I've, and I've, uh, I think I, I just kept it going. Was we just, we're, I'm a players coach, so I let the guys play, and then I get on, I get on them early. Like, where do you want to go to school? And mm -hmm. I got connections. Like, there's guys that are coaching uh, Division Three now that I used to coach. So I, I think I got good connections, and, um, and a lot of those coaches watch uh, our team a lot during the year. They watch other teams in our division during the year, so. It's, they're, they're getting seen uh, quite a bit by these D3 coaches, but mm -hmm. uh, having 12 move on is pretty good in, in all aspects. And I think that uh, what I do is just, just tell them you can do it. I mean, you're good enough to play at the next level. And I just encourage them. Um, I'm, we don't beat the guys down here. We, we build them up. And mm -hmm. so I just keep telling guys like pick your school Um Make sure you got a good major that you want to be interested in, and then right. and then let's work on the hockey part of it. Um, and we we do that throughout the year, and so I think it's been a good match. And I know a lot of the coaches when they're looking for players will come will come talk to me and our and our players. So it's been good. And as we look forward to the twenty four twenty five season, what do you think are your biggest goals that you'd like to accomplish? Well, I think the, the number one goal is always to win a Fraser Cup uh, and, and get back there. Uh, win the win the West Division. Uh, those are tough things to do, but if, I think we got to set our goals high and 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 shoot for them. I also want to see a lot of kids uh, get an opportunity to go to play in the NA this year, whether it's one game, two games, whether it's a midseason call up or whatever, which mm -hmm. we did last year a couple times. Mm -hmm. And I also want to see kids if if they don't get to the NA to get to where they want to go to college. And those are three important things. Um, if we do a good job of uh, getting guys to the next level, it's gonna it's going to help us build our team for the future, but I, uh, it's going to be tough this year. And we got coach Stanton back in the division. We got steps back in the division. It's, it's going to be a grind. So uh, we can shoot for the, we can shoot for the Frazier and we shoot for the West division, but 
somewhere along the line, I think guys are going to be happy to get into the playoff spot this year and then, yeah, absolutely. And then see what happens. But uh, I'm looking forward to the season. Uh, a lot of these guys that I've coached against uh, for a lot of years and then some of the guys that I coached with and other guy I coached against for a few years. So it's, it's just a good fraternity of brothers here in this division, and I'm looking forward to the season. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and, you know, good luck this upcoming season. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.